I mean, I say, I, I think I'm a little, a little bit of Chris Paul and Kyrie Irving. I mean, I could, I could finish similar to Kyrie Irving and I could, um, and I could pass like Chris Paul. So I mean I'm not I'm not as where they at now, but I feel like similar to them too. What I do bring is a winning nature, competitiveness, um, togetherness, just being there with my team, being able to help them and help them get in the right spots and be a team player. My work ethic is mainly based on doing what other people won't, don't want to do. Mm -hmm. So at four in the morning and three in the morning and when I'm in the gym and, and everybody else at a party, that's what I, I, I strive off of, just doing what people not want to do. I'm a devoted grandmother. I love my grandkids. Right now, that's what my life revolves around my grandkids. And when um, Kendall gave us them twins, that was it. The first one named Omar, Cherie Cooper. They both want to be named after their dad because they're twins. You know how boys is. I said, and the next one be named Cherie Omar Cooper. I noticed when he got into the um, seventh grade and said, Omar, be careful. He can't be working hard like that playing basketball because he's just playing it just to play. In order to get to the pros, you can't have no injuries on the bones. He wanted his dad there with him 100% and he listened to that father. Taylor used to just holler at him, Sharif, Sharif, don't do it this way. Do it this way, Sharif, do it this way. But you know, as being a little boy, they didn't want to hear nothing about no girls uh -huh. <laughs> playing basketball. But as they got older, they listened to Taylor. Um, I got into basketball. Um, really just growing up in a basketball house, um, that's all we knew. My dad played basketball, so looking up to them and looking up to my sisters, I always wanted to play. I used to play football, sixth, seventh grade. Football was mad fun to me. And then I play and I come back to basketball and everybody would be like way better. I'm like, nah, I can't, I can't keep doing both because I'm gonna be average at both. So when I just decided, it was a no brainer when I decided to play basketball. All right, y'all, so we're here at the sneaker store. Omar, Sharif, they come here all the time when they're here in Jersey. You know, restay with the drip, as you can see. What we rocking right now? Shut it back, boy. Uh-huh. So he going to show us around the store a little bit, what you expect to see him in, what kind of shoes he like. I'm looking at these, these 11s right here. Uh-huh. I like these, too. OK, going to school. Jordan go to. They go with everything. I like to wear sweats. 11s and 1s are my favorite ones. We really trying to show out what we wearing. I wear a designer shoe. Oh, they're not even in here. Nah, <laughs> <laughs> these right here. I like these are my favorite ones. Me and Omar used to fight all the time. Really? For so fun. I used to like, what is wrong with y'all? Man, it's bored. And they go back and forth. You ever play play that with Taya? Or no? It's just always between us. The rest of us. You can't play with Taya. Taya, you, when Why you, not? you was younger, she's too strong. You know, the whole one on one thing. She's like, oh, I don't know. That'd be a good game to see. To Everybody see. keeps saying that. And he's like his dad, he wants everything perfect. Even in the house and stuff, everything got to be clean and perfect. Just like a split image. He don't look like his father to me, but he got them ways. He got to achieve whatever it is he got to achieve. He's going to run and work hard. You was born in Jersey, right? Yeah. 
Okay, so like, when did you leave? When did y'all leave Jersey? We left when Sharif was um, three. One time, my whole team came over here. Like, mind you, this apartment is like, it's not big. It's like 12 people in like one living room, right? So right. we sleep. Mind you, we got a game tomorrow, so we not yeah. supposed to. We not supposed to be on no phones, no nothing. Well, we all like under the couch with our phones out. <laughs> so my dad walk in, he see us with our phones. He like, yo, what is that? So we all try to, <laughs> we all try to act like we sleep. So he like, man, get your stuff on. Hey, meet me outside. Mind you, it's two in the morning. We in the middle of the hood. So he got a car. So we nah, we gonna get in the car. He like, nah, y'all um, follow the truck. He got to run behind the truck. Like three in the morning, he start going fast, and we all trying to run fast. We start hearing this dog barking. We like, oh hell! So oh, all, so <laughs> oh no! Why'd you make them go outside and run? They wasn't listening. He was young. It was like fifth yeah. grade chasing the car, and I'm going, I'm going <laughs> fast because now they don't, they don't know where they at. They from the kids is from Georgia, so if they don't keep up with this truck, they hit. SLM. And it's, it's grown people outside. They we run in the middle of the street. And so, you know, the dogs, him running, they coming to the gate, rah, jumping on the gate. They like, then you know what happened? They was quiet the whole rest of the weekend. We used to always have this song we used to sing for every game. You remember it? I was gonna say, sing it for me. It was like, they tried to beat us when we was too tough. Uh huh. Wild bunch. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, tried. that's tough. I forgot, I forgot how the whole song went. Cause you, got, you gotta to give us a little us snippet. We was too fast. If they do it again, we gonna kick they. <laughs> <laughs> Uh -huh. Okay, so what's one thing Sharif cannot live without? My family. Oh, that's so cute. F-O-E, family over everything. No, you will close to your brother. Stone, really. well, yeah, y'all twins. Which I just found out, y'all, he's the youngest. He was beat by what? You said three minutes? We used to always fight. We used to always argue. We used to, like, when we was younger, but mm -hmm. now that we hold this, like, it's yeah. just somebody, like, your best friend, basically. Yeah. yeah that's really your brother, so. Are we here? I'm assuming. <laughs> Stop laughing at me. Well, Jersey is it's a real good basketball state, but it's just, you know, we don't get too much exposure. Kind of happy to see Omar doing what he's doing because they kind of give us more exposure because we, we got a lot of great athletes come out of Jersey. But I mean, he's a good kid, you know, a good kid, smart. He don't really talk a lot, but you know, it, it, I mean, his work ethic say it all. He try to make the game easy for everybody. You know, he he's not a selfish player. He don't just go out there and try to score points. And that's what kind of makes him different than everybody else. Cause you got a lot of young kids out here that just, they just want to score points and it's just me, me, me. I don't think he's souped up on the hype. You know what I mean? He know he got to get better. He know where he got to get better at. His will to win. Like I said, it's like his father. Yeah. You know what I mean? He, he just ain't going to accept no. As far as the aggression, the passion, the winner else, it's like they, tw I told them that even before, when I first seen them, when they came up, I was, when I was talking to them, I was like, yo, that's you, man. Reef is you. The good part of you. <laughs> when they gotta take a time out because the flow changed, he like, come on, they're like, give me, like, look for me. Look for me, that's that winning, you know, mentality, that's that attitude, and that, like, that's priceless. You know, when guys, I, like I'm in a barber shop and I hear guys talk about them and, you know, they rating parents. I was like, yeah, you know, that's like my brother's son. Hey, oh, there it is. There you go, hey. Do it again, hey, let me see it. Hey. <laughs> Probably since a kid, like I said, three, four years old, he just didn't like to lose. No pressure on him to play basketball, you know, but they, they were playing. You know, I got some pictures where they was, <laughs> the shorts look like pants. Um, it's simple. I mean, I'm always coach. And I'm always dad, and it's easy for me because I'm dad to everybody. You know, like, if, if, if I got 15 kids around me, then I'm a father to 15. So it, it just doesn't shut off. Ties, I mean, sometimes I don't want to go in the gym. So I call him like, Sharif, it's getting a little late. We'll just go tomorrow. And he's like, nah. Then I'm like, well, well, I'm gonna get there at 11. He's like, all right, well, I'll wait. I'm like, it might be like 12. He's like, I'll wait. Or I just call somebody else. He's going, regardless if I go or not. I mean, when they was little, they used to play one-on-one, -on -one. Taylor used to just mop them. Psh. No, Taylor used to mop everybody. Like, just, psh, psh, just mop everybody. I used to tell her, have your fun now. And by the time he get 15, this is not going to happen no more. Sorry, your hamburger. I don't like cheese, so I get Sorry, your hamburger. He said it's good, too. So I'm going to take my chances. Right now. Against the fries. 
the fries with the sandwiches. Would we'll make it a top. Would we'll make it unlimited. Um, just building so much at McEachin and and just being at home for my last year. I mean, I could have went to Mount Verde IMG, but I didn't feel like that's not me. I'm a loyal guy. I, I like to to stay stay where I came from. So, being that I built this with McEachin for three years, I wasn't going to. Yeah, for sure. I don't think it surprises me because I think uh, some guys have a gene in them that's kind of a, a loyalty gene, you know, and he's kind of that way. You know, he's been loyal to us since I've had the job. I'm happy that he stayed. I think uh, it matters to him to be locked into our community and be uh, somebody that's an example, you know, for our program. I mean, everybody does that now, you know, they want to go play where other good players are at. and. Uh, so I think he sacrificed a little there in staying with us to try to finish something that he started three years ago. He sacrifices a lot, you know, as a, as a teenager, you know, guys are looking to chase women and go to parties and, uh, you know, just do different things that, you know, high school kids do. And he's, uh, he's not done a lot of that just because he was trying to keep himself focused on basketball. Some guys love to play basketball. Uh, some guys want to be basketball players, and the guys that want to be basketball players are the guys like Sharif. You know, they do the extra, um, separate themselves a little bit. You know, you, you hear people talk about pro players and their work ethic and how that's different than everybody else's, and that's what he's like. You know, his is just different than any other high school kid. I think a lot of things look deceiving with him, you know? It's like when they get out there, it's like, whoa, I didn't know he was that quick. Whoa, I didn't know he could shoot. You know, whoa, I didn't know he was that strong, you know, and maybe standoffish, maybe quiet. Then you get to know him, you're like, he's not standoffish, he's not quiet, you know. He probably look weak, probably don't look fast. And then you get out there and you're like, wow. Yeah. I think just he's underestimated. I really didn't have to help him. You know, they really recruited him really hard and he just felt a different type of energy every time he would go around. And um it, it really just, it just happened. It just took care of itself. He wanted to commit, he wanted to go there after going through the process. And I was telling him, well, won't you wait a little while? Won't you, and what am I waiting for? Yeah. Like, I know where I want to go. And I'm like, where you want to go? He said, Auburn. I said, all right. I mean, it was, it was a little different. Uh, I mean, Auburn and Rutgers was my first two offers in like the eighth grade. I got an offer in the eighth grade, it was like, for real? Why I pick Auburn? Um, just the way they, the way they play, the way they coach, the way they treat people, like the whole city, like the whole city is like based on family, like and you can really feel that when you go there. Really, the way he treated his point guard, um, everything he said to me, he proved it, and I just felt genuineness from each coaching member on the staff. So it was a no-brainer. Well, he know what he wants. I'm so proud of him. I love my grandson, I love all my grandkids. And I just want him to be patient and just drive a little harder. He, he get out there and then all of a sudden he just surprised you. And then, you know, he's short. I really don't want him playing out there, probably hurt my baby. But now my baby's a monster. <laughs> so I just sit back and enjoy. He ain't scared of the moment, you know? Even when the crowd is against him. He like, he don't care, he, he jumping in the crowd. You got more people want to see you win and fail. You know, like, it's always that one guy that you say to yourself, man, that couldn't happen to a better person. Just, just having a love for other people. You know, like, making sure that you go out your way for whatever it is, open the door, you know, just listening. Somebody might need to talk, you know, just listening to people. And, you know, just seeing how people doing and seeing how they day are. And not, not worrying about yourself and stuff. Like, he'll take the shirt off his back, you know, and give it to somebody, so. Those are some of the things that I noticed, you know, at an early age. I want to win a state championship. I mean, it was a, it's a lot of people that, that um, now that everything is popping, they want to come around. Like, when I was a freshman and everything wasn't as, as good as it is now, nobody, I, I mean, I'm, I'm to myself. Like, I'm not the type of person to be all loud. And, so now that it is what it is, everybody keep trying to come back. Yo, Reef, you can do this. but. Nah, I stick, I'm a loyal guy. Like, I got 10 people, my teammates, my family. Like, that's all I feel like I need, so. Um, you gotta wait and see.